So in this tutorial we're going to talk about how to make uh, scoreboards, uh, basics in them at least. So for that we need to have some goals. Uh, so first, let's name this goals, which is easy. Uh, what, what format do you want it to be in the scoreboard? Uh, let's say for example, format 3 versus 3. Uh, next up, so we're going to have 3 players from each team. Uh, so for details. Uh, so in this tutorial, we're just only going to have uh, we're going to we'll talk about the uh, UI, so to speak, not the uh, formulas. Formulas we'll do in the next video. Try to get this video in like fi 15 minutes, something 10 minutes, hopefully. Not much longer than that. Uh, we need a place for team names. Uh, player names. Uh, let's see. If you want bands or not, we can skip the bands for now. But bands, yes. Uh, what else? Format. E how long each round can be? So it's the best of ones or best of threes. Uh, let's take best of threes. Just uh, the educational purpose. Size. Just please. And I'll suggest having. I'm doing this Google Chrome right now because it's the fastest way. And I'll suggest doing this on. I suggest doing this on some kind of PC instead of laptop or phone. If you're doing it on phone, just give up. It's gonna take much longer. Uh, let's say roster size six to eight. Pretty much the team size, so to speak. And that's all you need basically as data for an event into making a scoreboard. Uh, so we need the players, team name, format, and route size, roster size, and if there's bands. We also need results. Alright, so now we gotta take this, copy it, put it here. We start with the format, 3 versus 3, it's king of the hill, I forgot to write that. Uh, so in this case, king of the hill is basically if you win, you stay, if you lose, you're out. You get 3 versus 3, and uh, the equation is uh, 3 plus 3, uh, basically n plus n minus 1. So if, so if there is uh, 5 v 5 cos, uh, it's gonna be 5 plus 5 minus 1, which is basically 9, matches max. In our case it's 3 versus 3, so it's 3 plus 3 minus 1, which is 5 matches max. Just like that. Uh, so now we know we need five uh, rows of uh, worth of matches. All right, that's done. Team names we need one column for it. It's easy. Uh, let's see players. That's gonna be the same as this. Uh, five columns because each row can have a player. Results can be also five, like next to the results. I mean the players. Bands is also parallel with this, uh, and this is also here, and this is going to be separate. So now we know it's 5 in King of Tails. So, uh, first thing you need to do is sketch. We want ours to be rectangle, square, something between there. Uh, not full square, not full rectangle, but something between. Uh, let's see. So basically, always keep like one like this. I don't know why. It's like this. Like that. So always keep the first A and one 
not touched uh, you'll find it pretty useful sometimes and uh, you see so first you need to know where you put a team name we can just write team oh just general practice put the home team to the left and the away team to the right and then we set the we set the da -da -da. Bounce. Result. Uh, bounce for our team. Team away. So our main tab is done right now. I should not need bounce right here. They're probably going to be lower down. Uh, so basically, it's going to say like team high. By three, two, or something like that. All right, here we can just make it so near center, perhaps. No, I think it's good. Let's put these to the leftish and these to the rightish. Yeah, that looks a bit better. This could be center, probably. Uh, Alright, so we set five players before and three with three versus three king of the hill. So we can just say uh, player one. Uh, player. I mean, this game is so normal, but like it's only five, three players, but let's just make it. Just for the sake of it. It's not five players, it's five matches, but still. Uh, let's see, play Ash, let's just do this. And this is home, of course. And this is away, of course. Alright. Uh, play name. Like that, and it's going to be band one. You can just do it, then double click here, and it will resize to the cells need. Then you just then click control, control, and then left click the mouse. Then you can just drag this, and they both will get equally long. If you like, uh, Home stats that we've been here before. See if they're changed, but this uh, I didn't know about this. What I was trying to do is count size here 169, 169. So when you do this, you get the exact same length. In many ways, when you try to make scoreboard, this is very good to have. Uh, and by default, I mean, by definition of scoreboard, this is a scoreboard right now. You can just like do like this. And like this. By definition, this is a scoreboard right now. Not a very good one, not very practical, but this is a scoreboard. You have the, the team name, you have the result. Oh, I also forgot the result here. Uh, we should probably make a result tab right here. Uh, yeah, we should probably do the bounce. Actually, no. Yes, uh, part results. Yeah, something like this. So we could just write two, maybe two wins, one win, one win, two wins, two. Maybe like this. Oops. And this will turn into a three, two. Oh wait, this is. Oh. 
So in this case, this would be a 3 2 match. 1 2 3, blah, 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 yes. So this result would be right right here. Uh, yeah. Now you could style this as much as you want. For example, the left side could be blue. That's a bit darker blue. And then just uh, keep it the same. So for example, this blue is one, one, two, three, four. Do the same with these. One, two, three, four. So they're in the same shade, so to speak. This one is the second one, so we can do the same one but red. So they keep like symmetry. Symmetry. We check. And with these, we can just keep the darkish color. Looks pretty good. And here we can just take also some darkish color. And here we want even darker. This one. And this one then less darker. And one more less dark. And okay, so now we have pretty good UI right now. That's what I want to say. Uh, yeah, pretty much. This is uh, this is all for the UI. How to make a UI for the scoreboard. Uh, now next up is going to be. So format is done. Team names done. Players check. And uh, we can make a checklist here. By inserting one. So this one is done. 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 And then best of three is basically first one to two wins. So in this case, it's two here. So that's done too. And now the roster size, six to eight. So we're not gonna need play spot for two teams. Basically, team one, player one. Let's make it 8 just because. Uh, and this would be basically um, T. Okay. T. Like that. Copy the style. And then we could copy probably this style. Oops. Let's take this one instead. I want to paste the formats. Oh shit. Let's empty it. Way. I guess, probably, something like that. I don't know. And then make them once again equal. Just like that, and now we have the rosters in here too. Uh. Yeah, that's about it as far as preparations go. So this tour got only like about 15 minutes long, which is all you need basically to make a scoreboard like the UI. And then you can play around with it as much as you please, like the background color, everything else. But this is what you need to start with the scoreboard. Thank you for watching. Please share the video if you liked it. I would like to talk about this too much. Well, peace out.